New at 11, Suffolk School Board members discussed potential changes to the division's transgender policies. It's prompted by the controversial 2023 model policies finalized under Governor Youngkin's administration. Brenda McIntosh was at tonight's meeting and she joins us now live outside John F. Kennedy Middle School to bring us up to speed. Brenna. Well, school board members didn't vote on any changes tonight, but more than 20 people took to the podium, most to voice their opinions on Youngkin's model policy. It's a topic of debate in schools across the Commonwealth. Some say it restores parental rights. The school staff and teachers do not know the children better than their parents. Others say it's harmful to LGBTQ plus youth. 1.8 million LGBTQ youth consider suicide every year. Thursday night, Suffolk School Board members mulled over potential changes to the district's transgender model policy. Some voice concerns over gender neutral bathrooms. To think about all kids, think about those that's gonna be violated. Others voice concerns over the mental health of LGBTQ plus youth. The 2023 model policy is recklessly endanger transgender students who do not want to come out to their family. The Virginia Department of Education's 2023 transgender model policy says school employees should use students' names and pronouns that adhere to their birth sex. Exceptions include written requests submitted by a parent, an 18-year-old student, or an emancipated minor. Last month, Suffolk Public Schools Superintendent Dr. John B. Gordon III suggested documentation from a licensed psychiatrist or psychologist also count toward the exception. Thursday night, he addressed the crowd. But it seems like every time we try to compromise, the attacks grow stronger. He says while everyone has their own view on the model policy, he wants everyone to stay respectful. You do not respect the other individual for their expertise, their job, or who they are. And that's part of the reason why we are so passionate about this policy. And board members will likely vote at their next meeting on October 12th. Live in Suffolk, Brenna McIntosh, 13 News Now. Brenna, thanks. The Virginia Beach School Board is also mulling over the model policy. For now, the division is operating under an amended policy on non-discrimination and non-harassment of students.